Hi, Hiram here. The other day, I got a comment on my yet another way to use carbon felt with your Trangia stove uh, video from a JHI PPL. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that, but just for so I can do it, I'll just call him J. Anyway, J had said that uh, he had made a pot stand wind stand that he was able to get two cups of water to boil in four minutes and 55 seconds and a rolling boil in five minutes 35 seconds. So I asked him to send me a picture of his pot stand, which he did. And basically it was just a pot stand made out of half-inch hardware cloth where he made, you know, the cylinder out of the half-inch hardware cloth. And then he had aluminum wrapped around it so that there was one open square on the bottom and one open square on the top. So I thought I'd give it a try today. First using it with just a hardware cloth, the same size as what he did. It's six squares up and I forget how many squares around. Just enough so that it fits around the Trangia burner. So, pot stand six high. Here we have the burner. Let me start this. Should have got some matches out. There we go. I think my matches are getting a little damp, maybe. Let's let this come to a bloom. Now, when I say, for those of you that don't know, this is what I mean by hardware cloth. It's just, you can go to a Home Depot, Lowe's, your local hardware store and you can usually buy it by the foot but it's just squares made out of galvanized wire these have a half inch there's another hardware cloth that's what like a quarter inch square but the one he did was out of half inch okay there we got the blossom let me put the stand on like so two cups of water sitting at 61 degrees and let's see where this goes Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes 17 seconds. Okay, I want to stop this right away because I want to take a weight on this just to see how much alcohol was used. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. Came to a full boil of 212 in 6 minutes and 17 seconds. Now, one of the other things was I weighed this pot stand with the alcohol in it. And that was two fluid ounces that I put in. So what I'll do is I'll measure the difference in weight once this cools off and see just about how much alcohol was used in this test. So that was Jay's pot stand without the aluminum around it yet. So I'll let all this stuff cool off. I'll be back in a couple of seconds for you, about an hour or so for me, and I'll test this with the aluminum foil on the pot stand. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half, so all this stuff is getting back to room temperature. What I'm going to do now is use Jay's idea and put the aluminum foil on so that, hope you can see this, there's an open circle on the bottom and an open circle on the top. So air can come in and heat and stuff, I guess, can come out. Now what I'm doing is this is a uh, two, two inch wide strip of aluminum foil to go around this pot stand. And I'm just holding it on with strips of aluminum foil. Just put them in like this between... the uh, brackets here. See, just like that. Got one in the middle, put one on the other side. I'm going to leave a little opening here so that I can see what the flames are doing. I'm also holding this wire stand the same way. Just a half inch wide or shorter 
strip of aluminum foil holding the pot stand together. So there we have a windscreen, open on the bottom, open on the top, just like so. Okay, I've measured this. It In the first test, it burned 19 grams of alcohol. That's about 5 grams short of a fluid ounce. So I brought this back up to weight, to the two fluid ounces. Let's light that. This will be interesting. Uh, this should lower the boil time down doing this. Now the thing is, this is a little bit, I don't know what you want to call it, hectic. Trying to put something like this into a pot. Obviously it wouldn't fit into this Boy Scout pot, but it would fit into a taller one. You know, for storage when you're carrying it around. Hey, let's see here. We got, is it getting to blossom? Yep. Okay, put the pot stand windscreen on. I have two cups of water here, again setting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 4 minutes and 44 seconds. Let me shut this off real quick. Okay, that really did make a difference. Oh, that's hot. Youch! On that second camera, shot of this one I think you might have seen that even after two minutes this exposed part on the top of the pot stand was already turning red hot I don't think it was doing that at four minutes without this aluminum around it around the pot stand so cool the first time without the aluminum windscreen added onto this it took six minutes and 17 seconds for this to bring two cups of water to a boil starting at 61 degrees. This time, starting again at 61 degrees, it brought the water to boil in 4 minutes and 44 seconds. So that's just a little short of two minutes of time saved by using this windscreen on this pot stand. Now the interesting thing will be to see if it consumed more alcohol, if this was retaining heat, holding the heat in, and heating up the transgia more to make it burn more alcohol. So when this cools down, I'll give this a weight. I'll put it here so you can see how much alcohol was burned this time. The first time, uh, it was 19 grams, which is like 5 grams short of a fluid ounce of methanol. Be interesting to see what it did this time. So I thank J or J H I P P L. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. But I thank you for your suggestion. Thank you for the pictures you sent me of your stand. I hope this will help people. Again, like I said, something I did make a stand like this before with just the pot stand part. <clears throat> where I wired it together. I forget which lab this was. But because it didn't fit into a short pan, I didn't go with these. But if you had a taller pan, using this aluminum strip to hold it together, you could actually collapse this a little bit to make it fit into a, say, a shorter pan or adjust the size. But anyway, I thank Jay for sending this stuff, this suggestion to me. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like Jay's. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.